Welcome to Code Intraster. Hi and welcome to the third video. And in this video, we're going to discuss about the Bresenham's ellipse. So ellipse has a little bit of more explanation since it has two regions, and you will understand why we there are about two regions. That is two set of formulas that we need to consider for ellipse. So let's go on and discuss about that. So as you see here in this picture, the ellipse consists of four quadrants, four equal parts. If you are able to draw a single part, then we can easily, with the help of symmetry, we can draw the other parts. So our main focus is drawing this part of ellipse and uh, we are dividing it into two regions because uh, the radius for a circle a radius is the same but here for ellipse for each there are about two octants here and for each octant with we need to draw a circle uh, it's similar to a circle but with different radius so here this this is called as the r x since it's the x axis and this one is called as the r y so r x is semi minor axis and r y is semi major axis why r x is the minor axis since it is it seems less than r y so that's why r x is semi minor axis whereas r y is semi major axis it can be also r x can be semi major axis if Rx is major axis, then Ry will be semi minor axis. So that you should know. So with the help of Rx, so we start from this point and reach until this is typically called as the region 1 and this is the region 2. So we start from this point and move down. Let me change the color. Yes, we move down until we reach this line. and and we enter the region 2 and we we continue until y becomes 0 y becomes 0 or y is less than 0 in computation forms so y will be positive for all the points so we have two set of formulas to draw the region 1 and region 2 let's Let's just discuss about the region 1 for now, right? Let's move on to the formula. So this is the region 1's formula and we have a uh, initial, initial uh, formula to calculate the P0 and then the su successive uh, P values can be found out with the help of these formulas, right? So here we say that the P0 is equal to the Ry square minus Rx square or Y square plus 1 by 4 Rx square. So we implement this to find the P0 uh, in our C program. And when PK is less than 0, we increment X and then we keep Y as such. And then for when PK is uh, greater than or equal to 0, we increment X and then we decrement Y. Right? So here are the specific set of formulas which we apply during each use cases. All right. So my my idea is to explain you why x is incremented and y is kept as such, and why x x is incremented and y is decremented here. So according to the p values, we are able to decide whether our uh, midpoint that is this is called as the midpoint algorithm. So midpoint between the two pixels lies inside the elliptical curve or outside the elliptical curve when it is zero it lies on the curve right so according to these conditions we are able to increment or keep y as such so in the circle we know why we decrement y we need to decrement y let me move on to the diagram and explain you so we divide our ellipse into region one as i said our focus is only on the region one and as I said, when you see in the y-axis, uh, it decrements. So we decide whether to decrement y or not. But for each step, we increment x. You can just find it out x is quite larger than y. So 
x increments in each step and each step we kind of check whether to decrement y or not and that's why in the formula each step x increments and uh, we decide whether to decrement y or not so this is the formula in which we need to implement r1 all right after finishing up r1 we kind of start again from this point and then we calculate the p not p not again for p not formula which is specific to the region one we call it as p two not and then we go down until we reach this point so how is this implemented let's just look at the formula so this is the region two formula and uh, this is as uh, this is the p not p two not value and uh, you can check since it is a midpoint formula it it just increments here when you check the conditions pk is greater than zero so it, it looks different when compared to uh, the pre our previous uh, Bresenham's algorithm so you need to concentrate over here this is pk greater than zero and when pk is less than or equal to zero we have a specific formula set of formula for each use cases and um, why is it x naught plus one by two so here we decide whether to increment x or not but we decrement y at each step right so our decision is on the x so we kind of take the midpoint uh, between the two x axis and then find whether it lies outside or inside or, or on the boundary right so that's why here it is x plus x naught plus one by two so likewise for the region two we have a pk is greater than zero or pk is less than zero and we have specific set of formulas and let's discuss why we increment why we keep x as such or uh, why we decide only on the x rather than y so why is it different for region one and region two if this is the region two when you look at the y axis it is kind of larger than than the x so this is a easy way for us to remember whether to increment x or y or not so we need two set of formulas so that to control y during region 1 and x during region 2 so as to get the one one quadrant of ellipse so that we will be able to easily copy it to the other three quadrants all right so this is the basic idea behind the mid point ellipse algorithm let's move on to the coding hi and then first line we are just including all the necessary libraries and this line wide prasanam ellipse algorithm so here we are just implementing the Bresenham ellipse algorithm inside this function here I'm just saying see hey see I have a declaration for Bresenham ellipse which I'm implementing it after the main function so and then and it takes the four parameters right four integer parameters and ellipse plot points so this is again another another function which I'm declaring here and uh, which I'll be implementing it after main. So I'm just saying C program that such a function exists. All right, and then um, inside the main, uh, I have the graphics driver detected. So we we know about these two steps. It's all similar. And then here I just call the ellipse algorithm, and I I pass in 300, 360, 80. So what is this? Let's look at here. So this is the implementation of Bresenham ellipse, and then the first point corresponds to x center, y center. So this is the center point, and 60 is rx, and 80 is ry. So rx is, you know, the radius on x axis, and r or y is the radius on y axis. So ellipse, it's it's going to be different, all right? It's not going to be same. If it is same, then it's a circle, all right? So so by seeing the values we could guess that the semi minor axis is rx and semi major axis is ry right so then we know this get get character and then the close graph right then let's go move on to the bresnam's algorithm so here if you check i'm using the long form and uh, for easy understanding i'm just you know the 
I got the value Rx, so I'm just multiplying Rx into Rx and I'm storing storing it into a variable Rx square. So I'm going to call this one Rx square. It's for my own convenience. So Ry into Ry is Ry square and X. I'm so we know that the starting point is on the y-axis where x is equal to zero and y is equal to r y. Alright. So I told you in the graph which one is the starting point for the region one. So we are specifically setting that point. And then for my own convenience, I'm just setting it to r y square is equal to two into r y square. So we have calculated r y square here. So it is a similar case for x. So I'm going to set the p as zero. So I'm look at this code carefully. This is the comma, not semicolon, right? So I'm just it's it's equal to putting all these codes in a single line. I'm just putting a semicolon at the end. So this is very important. So I'm just calling in ellipse plot points. What is ellipse plot points? So we'll be able to. So Bresenham's midpoint algorithm finds the points the odd points of the pixels for a single quadrant we should be able to draw the pixel for the other four quadrants that's why i call in the ellipse plot points which draws which i have implemented in the below and which takes in a parameter x center y center int x int y so this is the pixel which the computer should light up and then um so this is a pixel which is uh which starts from uh, zero as the pivot point, pivot point or the fixed set point, whatever we call it. So we need to draw it corresponding to the center. So we just add in the centers to x and y, subtract to find the other coordinates for the symmetry. And then this is the additional parameter which I have added so as to teach you uh, the difference between the region one and region two in our program. So at last I'll be showing you I'll be removing this parameter in color. So this takes in five parameters now, but at the end I'll be removing this color. Right? So let's move on to the next program. So why we are plotting the points? So we know that our starting point is zero and our y is equal to our y. So we're going to start from the y coordinate, see y axis, and then move till a specific slope condition is reached. Alright? And then uh, we find that P naught. This is the formula for P naught for the region one, and it's it it looks it is very similar to our uh, uh, the formula which we saw in the previous slides. So this is the P naught formula for calculating P one naught for the region one. All right. So the while condition for the region one. So this condition is derived from dy by dx. So if you look at your uh, computer graphics book, you will be able to see this condition. So when this condition is met, it means that when this is true, it means that we are inside region 1. And we should do all these steps to find the points inside region 1. Alright. Uh, so as I said, in the region 1, we increment x. Irrespective of uh, uh, irrespective of the uh, p value, but we decide whether to decrement y or not. Here we didn't decrement y, so we are just deciding whether to decrement y or not in the first region. And uh, yeah, so according to the p naught value, we are able to change the formulas for the pk plus one all right so we find the successive p values and for each point that we find with the help of symmetry we draw it in blue color as you see right here the for the, for the region one i'm using blue color all right and for the region two uh, same this p not p2 not formula it's quite bigger and this is the while loop so until y is greater than zero as i told you while loop sh so when x go when y goes zero and negative we it means that we move out of region two so we need a check whether so when y is greater than zero it means that we are so at this point we are able to really finish up with region one that is we move out of region one and then we calculate the p2 not value again and then we check if uh, until y is a positive value 
do these steps. So we know that in the region 2, we decrement y irrespective of the p value. We don't take the parameters in, into consideration for y, but we decide upon the x whether to increment x or not. All right. So this is the formula which we saw in for the region 2 in the previous slide. All right. So this is going to be very similar. And for each point, I am just lighting up in red color. All right. So when I run this program. we get an ellipse yep and i want to answer two more questions that is why am i using long here instead of integer so long doesn't seem to work in my computer as you know this is a c and c++ language all the data types ranges are dependent on the machine which you run so I'm running a 64-bit machine, but I'm just implement. I'm just using Turbo C on an emulation of DOSBox. So it is a emulation software which is going to have a very limited capacity for int and long. So it moves out of the range, and this is the output I get if I mentioned it as an integer. It looks very bad it's not at all an ellipse so i'm just using long if integer works for you no problem but long works for me right um then what then let us remove the extra parameter which i've added ex just for learning aha i didn't Now let's get this to 60 and let's just let's run the program. Now we get a circle because Rx is equal to Ry. Alright. Now let's get this to 80 the other way. 80 and the 60. Now when I run this. Yeah, all the blue points are the region 1 and all the red points are got using region 2 set of formulas. Alright, so this is the implementation of LFC guys in the next video. Bye for code interest. This is code interest signing off. Thank you for watching. See you soon.